graduates and graduates, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Durham District School Board, we are proud to congratulate you on this major accomplishment. While the school year did not end as we had hoped, and our routines are still changing, I know that it's taught us important lessons about community and maintaining connections with one another. Graduating in the middle of the pandemic is a noteworthy accomplishment, and you've done very well to meet this challenge. With this experience, you will certainly be well equipped for anything that comes your way in the future. As you begin the next chapter of your lives, with further studies and training, for those entering the workforce, I hope that you can take with your experience learned at school, the memories you have made, and the fun you've had with your friends and school staff over the years. We wish you all the best in the future and congratulations. Hello, it is my genuine pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the senior team of the Durham District School Board. We are so happy to be marking your success as graduates, albeit not in the way we would normally. You should feel a great sense of pride in your accomplishments and recognize that as a graduating class, you will always carry with you the memory of how you managed in a worldwide pandemic. I know that your narrative will be in part what was not because of it. I encourage you, however, to consider the important and lifelong lessons this pandemic taught you in your final year of high school. Resiliency, sense of community, and global responsibility are all important attributes that you have deep knowledge of from a formative time in your life. As you move forward, you will carry valuable lessons with you that were learned from this firsthand experience. I am happy to welcome you back to your alma mater's celebration of you as alumni. I know that there are many individuals who played a role in your successes to date. I'd like to sincerely thank your parents or guardians and family members for the effort they invested in partnership with the Durham District School Board to support your journey. I also want to acknowledge the Durham District School Board staff for their dedication. Every time you go above and beyond, a student's life is positively impacted and today's celebration is evidence of that. The role of public education cannot be taken for granted, especially at times such as these, when its importance is illuminated in creating an equitable and civil society. As public school graduates, I hope that you carry with you always the importance of striving to have a positive impact on others, and when you encounter an opportunity to make a difference, that you do so with consideration of how to support those who are most vulnerable amongst us. Once again, on behalf of the senior team of the DDSB, our sincere congratulations on your accomplishment and our very best wishes in your future endeavors. Eastdale graduates. Hello, it's Miss Jodwin here. Wanted to take a minute to say hi and to congratulate you. The last time we chatted was probably March break and I was wishing you well and to have a happy, safe March break in the hallways. And obviously since then times have changed. Lots of challenges, lots of things have uh, come and go and in saying that there has been a graduation. So well done. Graduating in any year is a huge accomplishment and in this year in particular is amazing. So congratulations and I hope you are all well and keeping uh, safe in these times and I hope you will stay in touch. Take care and once again congratulations to Eastdale's graduates of 220. Congratulations Eastdale grads. I'm so proud of you and what you have achieved. Every one of you has achieved something here and every one of you has overcome something to get where you are. Well done. You need to be very proud of yourselves. Many people remember something or someone from high school throughout their lives. 2020 has given you some huge landmarks. My age group had to overcome climbing uphill through snow to and from school. You had a pandemic. Part of my highlight reel at Eastdale was the 2019 rugby tour. It was so great to see our rugby players do their thing on the West Coast. Somehow, strangely, I could never keep Olera, Nickerson, and Scovell sorted out, however. COVID stole the 2020 season from Eastdale Rugby, which was very sad. 
It did the same thing for the Eastdale musical and other arts and sports too. So much was lost, but you per persevered. It was my great pleasure to watch the class of 2020 in some capacity since you were grade nines. It was a real joy watching all of you arrive as little eaglets in grade nine and grow to become outstanding young adults ready to soar in 2020. Congratulations. Go Eagles. It's time to soar. Congratulations, class of 2020. You are a resilient group. During your time at Eastdale, you lived through the construction of the addition and not having a cafeteria. You survived through how many principals? Let's see, you would have had Mr. Maharaj, Mr. Levine, Ms. Van Driel, Ms. Arndt Paris, and me, Mrs. Monk. You survived through teacher jokes, both good and bad. I'm sure you can remember a few. You voiced your need for change and helped change the dress code before the Durham board changed it for all schools. In your last year, you managed to stay positive and optimistic during job action. And of course, through the first pandemic that any of us, young and old, have experienced in our lifetime. This does not include all of the challenges in your personal life outside of school, along with all of the social injustices that are happening across the country. Despite all of that, you are here. You are all amazing. You should be so proud. I know your parents are. Your ability to adapt to change, persevere through difficult times, stay focused on the possibilities ahead, and achieve what you have is remarkable. To top it all off, you are the class that have set the record for earning the most scholarship money in the history of Eastdale. Now that is impressive. I may not have been able to get to know many of you very well. However, I want you to know how proud I am to have been your principal. As my last message to you, as you leave high school behind, I would like to share a poem that my parents have on their wall. And my dad used to tell me to go read it when I was feeling sad or feeling defeated. Funny thing is it was in the bathroom, so he would always tell me to go to the bathroom um, and read that poem. Anyways, the author is unknown and the title is Don't Quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems afar. So stick to the fight when your hardest hit. It's when things go wrong that you must not quit. You, the graduating class, did not quit. You did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. I would like to now pass things on to Mr. Hyman, who is going to introduce to you your valedictorian. Oh, hey, uh, hold on, don't turn anything off there yet, and, and don't hit the thumbs down button just yet, because I know when you see this on the screen, uh, it creates uh, new levels of anxiety and the sheer horror of wondering why this guy is uh, on the screen right now. Um, and believe me, I can sympathize. Uh, I've been given the honor of uh, introducing Bri Brianna Mo uh, Morrison, really? Her? Okay. Uh, Brianna Morrison, apparently, uh, is who I'm introducing. And um, so I had to do a little bit of digging to find out what all she's done in school here at Eastdale. And so I found a couple of things, um, like, you know, there's, there's that, and she's done all that. Uh, and uh, she's, she's done all of that. And uh, yeah, to talk about Brianna Morrison and Eastdale is, uh, is not an easy task because there's so much that she's been involved with. She has done everything from uh, achieve excellence in academics to achieving excellence in athletic programs and being active in virtually every council known to the entire school. Her level of involvement at Eastdale exceeds the school and goes into the community as well, ranging from uh, her athletic achievements for track and field, 
from the badminton team, from uh, the um, basketball team. There is no shortage of things that she has not accomplished at this school. Further to that, her level of involvement in councils, uh, from student council in particular, and across the board, she has done virtually everything, and she has done it with the exact same level of enthusiasm and leadership as she has in the classroom environment as well. She is the type of student that you want to see on your roster. You know, she's going to bring a positive attitude, a smile on her face, and she's going to demonstrate leadership in the room. She's the kind of person you want to be around in the class and in the school and obviously in the community as well. She has done virtually everything here there is to do at Eastdale, and she's exceed expectations, which is very difficult for someone who set the bar so high for herself. And so re realistically, as far as I'm concerned, there's only one thing left for her to do. And so with that, I would like to introduce you to the 2019-2020 Eastdale Valedictorian, Brianna Morrison. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome, Mrs. Monk, members of the board, staff, family, friends, and of course, my fellow graduates. It is with great honor and gratitude that I stand in front of you tonight on behalf of the graduating class of 2020. This year has been challenging to say the least. We have faced COVID-19, the risk of killer hornets, online school, quarantine, social injustices, the Twitter posts of Mr. Trump and Kanye, and many other unexpected events. This is definitely one for the history books. But with all that we faced, what makes this class of graduating students so amazing is our resilience and our ability to thrive when change occurs. We are surviving a pandemic. As a community, we continue to work together by staying apart. Also, we became more appreciative for what we have and what we take for granted. Plus, no exams. The disruption of our final year does not have to define our high school experience. Throughout our years at Eastdale, each of us have learned some very important and valuable lessons. And I, for one, have learned quite a few. In grade nine, I learned that change is a good thing and that most people do not judge you as much as you think they do. In grade 10, I learned that being kind and positive is very rewarding. And that surprisingly, literacy memes about the frog with the mustache can be hilarious. In grade 11, I learned the true definition of what an all-nighter is and that there's no greater feeling than finishing an assignment right before 11.58 p.m. And finally, senior year. There are many lessons, but to put it into one sentence, nothing in life is a guarantee. So do not live for tomorrow or next week, live for today. Getting through high school alone is difficult. But with our circumstances and new way of learning, I believe I can speak for the class of 2020 that we would not have made it without our patient staff, family, and those close to us. So I'd like to take this time to thank these wonderful people. Teachers, I would like to send our gratitude to you all. From the extra help to coaching teams, to being the driving force in our education, and for making that video of how much you missed us. I believe that without your lessons, wisdom, and knowledge, this ride would have been very difficult. I read a quote once that said, great teachers are usually a little crazy. Eastdale certainly has its share of wonderful crazy teachers. And well, Mr. Hyman, you can be a little crazy. I've had Mr. Hyman as a science teacher for three years, and anyone who has been in the same class as me knows that I get dissed by him on a daily basis. Thankfully, I know Mr. Hom Mr. Hyman is kidding, and I know that he is a great supporter for me and for so many of us. I also like to thank all the coaches and teachers that have volunteered with clubs, bands, musicals, and so many other extracurricular activities. These experiences have had an impact on us, not only in school, but also in our lives. Whether it was shaping you into the person you are today, providing you lessons on the importance of leadership, hard work, and teamwork, or simply being the person you can go to. Reflect on how that coach or teacher advisor made a difference in your life and thank them. For me, these coaches are Ms. Short, Mrs. McDonald, and my rep coach, Mr. Durbin. Thank you for helping improve my skills on the court and teaching me all these things and more. Now parents, we know for a fact that without our guardians, moms, dads, and extended families, 
we would not be here today accepting our diploma. Mom and Dad, I thank you for your unconditional love and support. I thank you for coming to my graduations, sporting events, and being my personal carpool. Let me share a story with you all that I hope you all can relate to. During quarantine, I was pulling an all-nighter, as usual. And before I knew it, it was 5 a.m. When my dad walked in to say goodbye, he could see that I was stressed and irritated. All he had to do was give me a hug and tell me to keep going and that he was proud of me. It was small moments like these from both of my parents that kept me motivated to be the best I can be. Mom and dad, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Fellow graduates, I'd like to ask you to take this time to appreciate your loved ones and to thank them for the times they've been there for you throughout your high school and before. Last but not least, friends. If it wasn't for friends, classes would be so boring. Think back to study groups, going to Tim Hortons or McDonald's at lunch, late night drives, discussing your answers after exams, and many more unforgettable memories. Now at this time, I wanna thank all the essential workers. On behalf of the graduating class, we just wanna say thank you for your sacrifice during these difficult and trying times. Your work is beyond appreciated and we thank you. If someone was to tell me that Friday, March 13th will be the last day of my senior year, I would not have believed them. When I was in quarantine, I just remember thinking I would give anything to go out with my friends during lunch or to be in the building seeing you guys every day. And although we missed out on some memories, I want to remind you of some amazing ones, such as the boy rugby seven teams winning gold, the girls rugby team winning lots of silver, the senior girls basketball team winning lots of silver, Eastdale bowling team winning gold, school trips, robotics club, dance competitions, and musicals like The Little Mermaid, or seeing Mr. Na and Mr. Kennedy in dresses for the talent show. You name it. Take this time to reminisce. Reflect on your successes and times of happiness because moments and experiences like these turn into memories you will remember forever. At this time, I wanna address a very important matter. As valedictorian, part of my job is to speak on behalf of my peers. Well, some of my peers are people of color and some of my peers are part of the LGBTQ community or have different abilities. And as a woman of color myself, what I find amazing about this community is that there are clubs such as Diversity Club, Muslim Students Association and Allies, a Black Student Union, and courses such as Black and Indigenous Studies that really make all of us feel included and that our culture, race, and ethnic backgrounds matter. Eastdale has an amazing staff and student body that does not treat us differently because of the color of our skin or for just being who we are. So I think I can speak on the behalf of my peers when I say thank you for seeing us, hearing us, and standing with us. As we continue to stand up against the injustices happening within our society, please continue to be allies and have those uncomfortable conversations because that is when growth and change can really happen. Continue to speak up when you see something wrong and do not remain silent. And with the potential, ambition, and resilience I see in the graduating class, I have hope for the future. Now, I want to leave you with a quote from Chadwick Boseman. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. As you commence to your paths, press on with pride and press on with purpose. Let us all take these words to heart and try to live up to the life and lessons of the Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman. Congratulations once again, class of 2020, and thank you.
Congratulations to Kaylee Glover. Um, so what are you doing this year? I'm going to university. Nice. Which university are you in? Awesome. That's where I was born. It's a very good city. Yes, excellent. Right on.
guys were there. You guys are 